Okay, in this video, we're going to learn how to actually create box plots on the calculator, and the calculator is pretty friendly to, uh, to making box plots. So real quickly, as a review, go to y equals, make sure that there's nothing in it, go all the way to the bottom of y equals, make sure there's nothing there, okay? So that in my case, there's nothing in y equals. Then I'm going to look at stat plot. So I'm going to go second stat plot, press enter. There. And I wanted to make sure all of them are off. My first one is not off, so I'm going to turn it off. And now they say off, off, off. That's what I'm looking for. Okay. So the next thing I need to do is take a moment and enter all this data. All right. So we're going to enter all, all of our data, and I'm going to go stat edit, press enter. And I still have data in here, so I'm going to go up and press clear, then enter, arrow up, press clear, then enter. So all my data is entered, um, all my data is cleared out. I have a clear uh, data list. And now I'm going to pause this thing while I go ahead and enter the data. You should enter the data as well. Okay, so hopefully you have your data entered at this point. And so I'm going to start off and go, all right, so here's my data, stat, edit, my data is entered, it looks great in the calculator. I could place in an order at least to greatest, but I don't have to. So I'm going to edit over and go stat, calc, then one variable statistics. Now my list says two, well, we know my data is in list one, so I'm going to press second followed by one. I don't need a frequency list because we don't have a frequency this time, and I press calculate. And I got all this information. It says I input 12 data values, that my minimum value is a 10, Q1 is 15, median is 16.5, Q3 is 19, and my max happens to be 25. So I have those values, but I need to know whether or not I have outliers. So I'm gonna have to go through the outlier formula or not, because remember, if a minimum value is connected, it's not an outlier. If, a maximum, if it's not connected, it is an outlier. But let's take a look at the graph of this because the calculator is very, very friendly on this item. So we're going to press second, followed by stat plot, press enter. I'm going to arrow over and turn it on. Now we're always going to choose the one that has the dots. Since those dots represent outliers. So we're going to drop down. Oops. So I arrowed over and until I got to this and I press enter. My X list, my data is an L1, so I need to change that to second one. Press enter. My frequency should be one, like I have. And I can just go zoom. And basically, we're going to follow by the number nine. And there it is. You're like, OK, so what does that mean? I don't see any values. You're right. So press the trace button. And it says, oh, the minimum is 10, Q1 is 15, 16.5, 19, and 25. So in this particular instance, we have no outliers, okay? But we, someone still may ask you, or they may ask you, where were the fences? And if you're doing a box plot on an FRQ, you're going to need to show where the fences lie, that you know how to calculate the fences, to show that there are no outliers. All right, so once again, on the lower side, X has to be less than Q1 minus 1.5 times the IQR, all right? So IQR, that's IQR is Q3 minus Q1, Q3 minus Q1. So in this case, our IQR is 19 minus 15, so our IQR is four. So with that said, X would have to be less than 15 minus 1.5 times four, and X would have to be less than nine. If we were doing the upper fence, it's Q3 plus 1.5 IQR. We've already said our IQR is four, and we also said that this was 19 represented Q3, 15 was Q1. So this is going to be 19 plus 1.5 IQR 
And so we need a value greater than 25. Well, when I look at the list, I see a 25. Well, 25 is on the fence, so it's not an outlier. If it had been 25.001, then it would be an outlier. Okay? All right, I'm going to do the next example um, in the same video. It's going to be a fairly long video. So I need to re-input my data. And so once again, second quit. And we're going to go stat edit. And I'm going to arrow up and press clear. And then enter. And so at this point, I need to go ahead and enter my data, which in this case is fairly quickly. So I um, is nine, enter eight, enter seven, enter six, enter five, enter four, enter three, enter two, enter one, enter. And be very, very careful. Do not use a minus sign for a negative. This is a, a quirk of the calculator. Use the negative sign and put a negative 10. All right. So this should look like negative 10 right there. So I can go stat, calc, one variable statistic. My data list is an L1. Scrolling down, I get a minimum value of negative 10. Q1 is a two, that's probably something I need to know. My median is a four and a half. My ma uh, Q3 is at seven and my maximum is at nine. All right, so we, we have our values that we need. Let's go ahead and create this dot, this box plot on the calculator. So we're gonna go second, stat plot, enter. Well, my X list is an L1. And so I can just put zoom followed by the number nine. And there we go. And look, we have a point all by its, ourself. Let's use a trace, okay, an arrow to it. That's negative 10. So this is my minimum value. This is my minimum value that's not an outlier. So I have a negative 10 over here as an outlier. Then I have one. Then I trace over, oops, trace. Pause for a moment. All right, so hopefully we won't get stuck again. So error over from negative 10 to one. Then we have two as Q1. Then we have 4.5, seven, and nine. So please remember here, if, I, if they ask me to calculate the range, if they ask me to calculate, calculate the range, the range is largest minus smallest. L minus S. Well, in this case, my largest value is nine, so nine minus a negative 10. So in this case, my range would be 19, if they had asked for it, okay? I still always have to show how I determine if something is an outlier. I have to do that if it's an FRQ. So I can't just pull it off the calculator. The calculator shows it to you, but you have to be able to back it up with mathematical proof. So the lower fence is Q1. And we said our first quartile was two minus the formula 1.5 times the five. So we end up with negative 5.5. Anything below this fence is an outlier. All right, and negative 10 is clearly below it. On the upper side, on the upper side, it's Q3, which happens to be seven. Seven plus 1.5 times five equals 14.5. So my upper fence is somewhere off this paper and we have no values over it. If I'm describing this, I'm gonna say, well, this part, um, we, Basically, in this case, I have unusual features. I would not want to talk about shape if I have unusual features. This one above, I can sit there and go, you know what? It's not perfect, but data is not perfect. So I'm going to say it's reasonably symmetric with no outliers. So that one's reasonably symmetric with no outliers. I'm not gonna talk about this part as being reasonably symmetric. I'll say where this is located. It's located on the interval of nine to, uh, one to nine, but I am gonna 
point out, I have a very, I have an outlier on the lower. All right, so we're going to do the last one. So basically, we need to clear our data out. So set the stat plot. Go to what? Stat edit. Go all the way up to the top. By the way, I kind of messed y'all up on that, so let me back up. So stat, press edit and enter, arrow up, clear and enter. And now I'm gonna take a moment and enter all that data. Well, I'm gonna be honest, I don't want you to wait for me to do that because I may make a data entry error, so I'm gonna pause this thing. Okay, so I'm gonna to go to stat edit. I've entered the data, hopefully you have two. I'm gonna go stat calc, one variable statistic. My data list is now one. I'm gonna press calculate. And I have a sample size 20. My minimum value is 45. My first quartile is at 60, 25% or less than 60. My median is 80, so half is larger, half is smaller. Q3, 75% of the data is less than 87.5. And I have a maximum value of 100. So let's see what this looks like. So second stat plot, enter. My data is an L1. So I should be good to go. Make sure that you have the one outliers and press zoom by. When I look at that, it's like, you know what? I do not see, I do not see any um, outliers. So 45, 60, 80, 87.5, and 100, okay? And if I were describing this thing, I'd probably say, you know what? Not excessively skewed, but somewhat skewed to the left, all right? So probably somewhat skewed to the left. So I need to always show where I get outliers. Well, when I look at my calculator, I go to stat calc, one variable statistics, and I'm gonna need my Q3 and my Q1. Q1 is 60, Q3 is 87.5. So. IQR is Q3 minus Q1, so 87.5, that's my Q3, minus my Q1, gives me an IQR of 27.5. This is my formula, Q1 minus 1.5 IQR. So 60 minus 1.5 times 27.5 equals 18.75. So I'd have to be way over here. I'd have to cross 18.75. So 18 would be an outlier. But 18.75 would not. I do the upper fence, and I'm going to be, have to be way, way to the right because it's going to be Q3 plus 1.5 IQR is 128.75. So once again, I'd have to be way up here. So we have no outliers on this particular problem. Thank you.